A great matchup of two teams, a great atmosphere. It's time for football. Snow is falling here tonight as the Broncos get set to take on the Thunder. Let's see how it plays out tonight as we get set for the opening kickoff. Number 50 is back and ready to put this one in the air. Sends it sailing. From the five yard line. The offense heads out onto the field for the first time. Number 28 will not be starting tonight's game. Number 45 will get the go-ahead at corner. The Thunder come out in a 4-3. They jumped early and got flagged. So he's called for encroachment. The defense needs to concentrate better than that. Nothing frustrates a coach more than a penalty like that. Following the penalty, it's now first and five. The backs are lined up in an eye. Martin sends a man in motion. With the throw. Incomplete. He barely got that one off. Yeah, it wasn't a set. What it did was make the quarterback adjust his throw and it messed up his rhythm. Second and five. Ball on the 26-yard line. Pollard, alone setback, receives the handle. Bassett comes up to make the play at the 38, and that game will get them a fresh set of downs. It was a great run. He saw his blockers create some room for him, and he accelerated right through the hole. First and 10, ball on the 38-yard line. Bring it up, bring it up! Only one man in the backfield. it off. Crane breaks the play up in the backfield. Trying to find some room in the middle, but there was no place to go. I'll tell you what happened. The defense was coming with a lot of guys in a run blitz, and the hole that that play was supposed to go through was filled with defenders. Ball on their own 35. Where the counter play. Reese is there on the stop at the 37-yard line. The defense held their positions and didn't let them get very far. Ball on their own 37. Ball on the 37-yard line. The Thunder come out in a dime package. Dropping back with the throw. Number 82 doesn't get enough to convert, and that brings up fourth down. So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returner's stats. Bryant is ready to punt this one away. Number 87 is the deep return man. This one goes out of bounds. Ball on their own 30. Ball on the 30-yard line. Let's go. Here we go. Danny, Danny, Danny. The Broncos line up in a 4-3. They're blitzing. Pressure coming. Puts it on the ground. The Thunder. Ball was loose in the backfield, but the offense is able to jump on it first. Whoa, got lucky that time. That's a real heads-up play. Now in second and long Ball after the sack. The Broncos come out in a nickel package. They'll bring the blitz. Uses the pump. Down he goes. 
And this defense does what it takes to bring down the quarterback. They've got the outside rush, the inside rush, and they have all the right moves. They're looking now at third and long after the sound. The Thunder line up in a five receiver set this time. Under pressure, can't avoid the rush. Now the offensive line just can't stop that rush. That's one of the last things you want as an offense. It kills momentum when you keep moving backwards. Very solid defensive effort to force the three and out. Fair catch. Fair catch made at the 42 yard line. First Ball on their own 42. Ball on the 42 yard line. The Thunder with a four-man front. With the throw, in and out of his hands. I'll tell you, playing in this kind of weather is always a tough deal. He's just got to put that one behind him and go out there and catch the next one. Second to ten. Ball of 42 yards. The Thunder come out of the 4-3. Throwing. Rudd is there for the tackle at the 41-yard line. You can't draw it up any better than that. Textbook first down. First, first and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Randall goes in motion. A little misdirection. McMillan is there on the stop at the 38. Right now, they need to keep going at the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they'll be able to break one for a big game. So a pickup of maybe three. Second it's second and down and seven to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Good shoot. The Thunder come out in a 4-3. Drops back. Gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. Number 45 is there for the tackle. They get first down yardage on that hookup. First and 10. Ball on the 25 yard line. Defense, get ready. Left, left. Set. Lloyd, the motion man. Watch him. Goes to the end zone. This pass is incomplete. He deflected it just in time to avert the completion. Second and ten. Ball on the 25 yard line. Will, Will, Will. Pollard, the lone back. Oliver comes in motion. Play football. He gets the count. Lane is there on the stop at the 25. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. So a gain of about one. If they can get it to the 15-yard line, they'll get a first down. Martin out of the gun. Hunts with the pass, and he makes the grab. Lincoln comes up to make the play at the 17-yard line. So they're able to get the field goal kicker in a little better position. Number 16 will put them in the lead if he makes this. It's good. It's good. And give credit to the kicker there. It's nice to have a guy that can make your drive worth three, even if you don't get it in the end zone every time.
Bryant in to kick this one off. Back deep to return. From the six. Stiff run to the bend to the ground. Your last drive ended with a three and out as the offense comes out onto the field again. They'll take over at the 26 yard line. First and 10. The defense lines up in the nickel. Riggs comes in motion. Stepping up, throws it. Drops the interception. Good timing, getting in between the ball and the receiver to save what would have been a big game. Second and 10, ball on the 26 yard line. The Broncos line up in a 4-3. Great move to get free. Right on target to the wide receiver. Lang is there for the tackle at the 39. And he picks up a lot of additional yardage after making the catch on that one, John. This is one of the guys they really like to feature in their passing game. He's got all the skills that you look for from the receiver position. And he can really break a game open with plays like that. The Broncos with a four-man front. Is there on the stop at the 39 yard line. When you run the ball in the first half, you're trying to keep the defense on it. But if you're only getting gains like that in the second half, then it puts more pressure on your passing game. Ball on the 39 yard line. Ball on the 39 yard line. Out of the eye formation. Comes up to make the play at the 38-yard line. The defense is trying to shut down the running game early to force him to pass. We'll have to see if it works and causes him to give up on it here in the first half. On third down, they have to get it to the 29-yard line for a first down. They line up in the I formation. With the pass, he hits his receiver. Rennick takes him down before he can get the first. Magnet made the catch, but was unable to get the first down. Number 15 will tie this game up if the field goal is good. And the kick sale is not. After the missed field goal, they're set to go on offense at the 37-yard line. Pollard, the lone setback. Gave off to the tailback. Bassett comes up to make the play at the 46-yard line. Vision is so important to these ball carriers. They got to find the hole and get to it before it closes. There's no hole there, and they got to know that, too. If you don't have the vision, you just can't find the hole. 46-yard line. Closing in, gets rid of it, and it's caught. Rudd is there on the stop at the 43-yard line. Great throw to beat the zone. I'll tell you, the defense has to do a better job of coming up and clamping down on the receiver whenever he enters their zone. First and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Raymond, the man in motion. Crosses it right. Keeping him at bay. Roberts is there for the tackle at the 37. This is one of those games where you just keep running it at him. Four yards here, five yards there, loosen him up, and then when? You knock him out late in the game with that long touchdown run. So that's a gain of about five. The Broncos line up in trips bunch. 
Throws to the end zone. Almost in a second. Dropped in the end zone, so the offense still has possession. And that's the last thing you want as a defender, to have the ball go right through your hands in the end zone. The Thunder come out of the 4-3 with the pass. Broken up. It looks like he had it under control but just lost a handle on it. When it's cold out there, you got to find a way to keep your hands warm. If you don't, a lot of them are going to slide right through. Number 16 needs to hit this one perfectly to have a chance. He didn't get enough leg behind that goal. And you have to wonder why they tried to kick it from that far out. Yeah, they misjudged something, that's for sure. So they're ready to go on offense after the missed field goal. They'll start at the 44-yard line. Denver goes with a four-man front. Hand it off to the fullback. Number 27 comes up to make the play. He tried to pick his way through the middle, but there was no room. That's right. And when the middle of your offensive line is eaten up like that, you got to try and get to the outside. But they wouldn't let him get away. Ball on their own 44. Denver using three linebackers. Burns is there for the tackle at the 44. We well, even know it didn't work on that play. I like that strategy. They get their back running full speed around in, looking to match him one-on-one -on -one with the smallest guy in the field. Ball on their own 44. Gets rid of it. 48. Comes up to make the play. Now this is one heck of a play. Look at it. You're in a hole here on third down. And they come through with this perfect play that gets him a first and keeps the drive going. We've reached the end of the first quarter and the score is 3-0. Broncos. Free. The, the team says what size and we'll start the second quarter. First and ten. Ball on the 33 yard line. Hey, watch that screen. Let's go. Denver using three linebackers. Simpson, the motion man. Let's go, let's go. Hand it off. Logan is there on the stop at the 28-yard line. As a coach, you need to make sure that you establish your running game as a weapon that can hurt the other team. Second and five. Ball on the 28-yard line. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Mohammed, the deep back, to carry it. Number 52 is there for the tackle at the 25. They don't deviate at all from the last play call as they keep it on the ground. It's third down and they have to get it to the 23 to convert. We'll have it. The long setback. Keep it off to the back. Lawson tackles him and they won't get the first. No now let's have a look at what line. our runners have done up to this point. Right. We'll have a tie game if we can make this kick. Better it kicks it through. Not every drive is going to get you a touchdown, so getting three was big. Now they got to go over what worked and what didn't. So the next drive, we'll get him a TD.
Number 15 will be kicking off. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. From the two. Their kicker missed a field goal attempt on the last drive. We'll see what happens this time around. Ball on their own 17. Start the drive at the 17-yard line. First and 10. Watch the snap now. With a counter play. Fumble. The Broncos get it. They got that one back. Ball on their own 17. Ball on the 17 yard line. The Thunder line up in a 4 3. Drops back with the pass. He goes up and rips. The audience such a quick release, and the ball is out before anybody knows what's happening. That makes it hard for him to be sacked, and it gives the defenders less time to react. First and ten. Ball on the 27 yard line. Pollard is the deep back. Hand off to the tailback. Roberts is there for the tackle at the 33. It's important to pound the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they're going to bend. Second down and four to go. Ball on the 33 yard line. Hand it off to the back, and he just got level. They might not be busting off big games, but those linemen are really working hard down there. Gain of two. Third and a deuce. Ball on the 36 yard line. This is what we made of right here. Keep moving. Set back it up. Looking to run it here. They'll spot this one at the 43-yard line. And that's now three tackles for him in this game. Great run there. That'll be a first down. He really ran well there. He gets some great blocks, and he has patience as he picks up the first down. First it's and first ten. and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Come on! Pollard, the long setback. Hand it off. Bassett is there for the tackle at the 49-yard line. Oh, kept his legs moving. Gets seven hard-earned yards. Ball right around midfield. Ball on the 49-yard line. The Thunder come out in a 4-3. Hand off on the draw. Reese is there on the stop at the 49. I know they didn't get much, but it's all about making the defense respect the fact that you're willing to run. One yard gain on that play. It's third down, two to go. Ball on the 49 yard line. This is it, baby. Showtime, baby. Martin will work out of the shotgun. Passing here on third and short. Gets rid of it. Right on target to the wide receiver. They convert for the first down on that throw. And they ran the perfect play to get those couple of yards. First and ten. Ball on the 34 yard line. Let's go, let's go. Going to the air on first down. With the throw. Number 45 comes up to make the play. And the 21 seems like all they have to do is just throw it near this guy, and he finds a way to come down with it. Yeah, I was talking to the coach this week, and he told me that he's probably got the best hands in the team. And right there, he just showed us why. Ball on the 21 yard The Thunder come out in a 4 3. Frame 
is there for the tackle at the 20. One thing these guys don't want to do is give up in a running game. Because if they do that, they become one-dimensional. And that plays right into the defense's hands. 11th play of this drive. They're threatening inside the 20. No stop, no stop that motor. The backs are lined up in an eye. The carry it. Johnson is there on the stop at the 12-yard line. He showed good patience and vision in this one. I'm guessing that they're going to just keep giving him the ball. So they have 12 yards to go for a touchdown. The last time they were inside the 20, they came away with three points. Going for the first on short yardage. Fakes the throw to the end zone. This pass is incomplete. And a flag on the play. This one, I think, is on the defense. So the penalty on third down does go against the defense, and the result is a first down. After the penalty, it's now first and goal. All on us, y'all. Play football from the start. From the Pollard, the lone setback. Mark with a man in motion. Looking for the goal line. Dropped in the backfield for a short race. The defense came out and stopped him right in his trap. That's just the kind of thing that the defensive coordinator loves to see. It's second and goal at the two. The backs are lined up in an eye. Hand off to the tailback. He's brought down behind the line for a short pass. They went backward on that one. They ran right into the blitz. They should have changed the play at the line. Maybe an audible to a sweep or a pass play. Something like a quick slant. Two more yards and they'll be in the end zone. Holler, the lone back. play Roberts got very good penetration there They're trying to get it in on the ground and the defense says uh-uh not this time number 16 will try to put them ahead with this field goal Another successful field goal try gives him his second three-pointer of the game. Following the field goal, the score is 6-3. Broncos. This one in the air. From the six yard line. Shakes off the tackle. The offense ready to go again after their last drive ended with three points. Almost at the two minute mark now. Mohammed, the deep man. Pass play here on first down. Deep throw. He's there for the catch. The 20. The 10. Touchdown, Thunder. I'll tell you, this is nice work by both the quarterback and the receiver in this play. Watch it here. He reads the coverage, looks for the best option, and then throws it to him.
The point after is good. And John, we were talking at the beginning about the quick strike capability. That's exactly what we were talking about. One play, one touchdown. I'm not surprised at all by that play. You've got a chance to stick it to the other team. You're going to stick it to them. And that's what they did on that play. Number 15 comes in to kick off. Booming kick downfield. From the two yard line. They turn their last possession into three points. Let's see what they do with the ball this time around. Two minute warning coming up. Only one man in the backfield. It's the toss to the left. This one will be spotted at the 31 yard line. He wraps up the ball carrier, and his tackle total is now four. Launches this one to the left. Nothing and has it. He fights off the defender to make the catch for a big game. You know what this does? It keeps one defense on the field. And it doesn't let them get the right personnel in there sometimes. Stay both left. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Pass play here on first down. Throws it. This one falls incomplete. Johnson, Watson, causing the incompletion. I'll tell you, there are plenty of guys in the league who take pride in making hits like that, especially when it causes an incompletion. Second and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Here we go, baby. Hey, let's go one G set. Hey, With a counter play. Great move against play. Bassett comes up to make the play at the 26. Here's a look at the third down success rate of each team. Dropping back, throwing. They'll spot this one at the four yard line. He puts a hit on him and he now has seven tackles. Here's a no huddle. It's a good way to keep the defense off balance. Up to the end zone. Intercepted at the end zone. The defense looks like they knew exactly what the quarterback was going to do, and they get the pick. Yeah, they had a guy covering that area in the flat where a lot of quarterbacks like to throw. After the defense gets the takeaway, they're now set to go at the four. The Broncos come out on a fourth round. Number 52 is there on the stop at the eight-yard line. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Running the ball on second down seems to be the best choice for them. Second and seven coming up here. The Thunder call a timeout. They have two timeouts left. A little over a minute left. Ball on the eight yard line. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Nothing, nothing. The Broncos line up in a 4 3 on the ground. And he's brought down at the 11 yard line. So that tackle was his third. Ball on their own 11. Ball on the 11 yard line. Denver goes with a four-man front. They give it to the halfback. They'll spot this one at the 11. It's his third tackle in the contest. That third down run comes up short, so we should see a punt here. Tillman gets set for the return as we take a look at his numbers. 
Good defensive stand there. Now they'll punt it away after a three and out. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 41 yard line. The ball on their own 41. The drive at the 41 yard line. First and 10. The Thunder come out in a nickel pack. Pass play here on first down with the pass. This pass is incomplete. He was in the right place at the right time, and that saved them from giving up a lot of yardage. There's only one way that they're going to be able to do something about this score. Keep throwing and getting out of bounds. Second and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. The rush is on. It's broken up. This defense, John, knows how to create a lot of pressure. Putting pressure on the quarterback can disrupt passing. But pressuring the receivers can do the same thing. If you can play physically on the outside, bump them off their routes, hold them up at the line, you can take away his receiving option, forcing him to just get rid of it. Smart will work out of the shotgun. Gets the pass off. Lane is there on the stop at the 47 yard line. And I don't know why you call a play that doesn't take your receiver past that first down marker. So they'll line up the punt after going three and out. Waves for the fair catch. So after the first two quarters of play, the score is 10 6. Thunder. 10, the Broncos, 6. We're ready to begin the third quarter of play. Bryant, he's just about ready to kick this one away. From the six. Number 87 accelerates and takes it down to the 36. They'll take over at the 36-yard line. First and ten. Let's go, B. Let's go. The Broncos come out in a nickel pack. Pass play here on first down. Throwing. Gets his hand on it. Pretty good coverage downfield as the pass falls incomplete. He had some room up in front of him to scramble out of the pocket and pick up a few yards. Maybe he should have done that. Second and ten. Ball on the 36 yard line. It's showtime, baby. Mohammed in the backfield. William is there on the stop at the 37. He was looking for a place to run, but all those places were filled up with guys waiting to tackle him. Ball on their own 37. Ball on the 37 yard line. Denver comes out in their nickel package. Throws it, and it's caught. This one will be spotted at the 47-yard line. He wraps him up and now has four tackles. The defense gives up a first down because they had a linebacker covering a wide receiver. Ball on their own 47. Ball on the 47-yard line. Denver comes out in a 4-3. Watson sends a man in motion. 
Going to the right. Whew, what a stiff one. Mohammed running hard, going right through the arm tackles. At second down, two to go. From the start, from the start. The The Broncos come out in a nickel back. Rennick comes up to make the play at the 42. Hey, all he had to do was get behind those big old blockers and just keep pushing. The next thing you know, they're moving the chains. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Broncos line up in a 4-3. A little misdirection. Can't get him behind. Number 93 is there for the tackle. At the 36, Mohammed picks up some tough yards there. Second and five. Ball of a 36-yard line. Come back. Come on. Let's go. Be good. Hand it off. It's free. The Broncos scoop up the fumble. And a great job by the defense to recover the fumble. First Ball on their own 22. Ball on the 22 yard line. I thought he was down and then the ball top loose, but it's difficult to tell from this angle. And mostly the official is seeing what we're seeing. So it's inconclusive. The call will stand since he needs to be 100% sure to overturn a call. The ruling on the field stands. There was a fumble on the play. And the coach took a chance, knew he'd have to lose a timeout, but that's the way it goes. That turned out to be a good call. Even though it was challenged, they lost. The only thing they lost in the end was a timeout. The game would have been much greater had it gone the other way. And off to the tailback. Land is there on the stop at the 23. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Ball on their own 23. Ball on the 23 yard line. Yeah, you see me. Not today. Set. The Thunder line up in a 4 3. Hey. Bring it up, bring it up. Looks like somebody got off the line a little That's early. Number 71. Cooper moved a little down. early there. Yeah, the rule for the offensive line is once you put your hand down, you can't move until the ball snaps. It's now second and 15 after the penalty. Dropping back. Trying something to the left. Knocked away. The Brady two was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Right with the coverage. Third and 15. Ball on the 18 yard line. Hey, focus, DB. Mark from the shotgun. It's a blitz. It's the pass off. Rudd is there for the tackle at the 45. Big completion on third and long, and that'll keep the drive going. You know, he's so dialed in when it comes to throwing those third down passes. He finds a right man almost every time. And the defense just can't seem to stop him. First and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Thunder come out in a 4-3. Here we go, baby. Hand it off to the back. Lane comes up to make the play. At the 46. Mixon runs with passes, keeps the defense on him. Ball on their own 46. 
spot this one at the 47. He was right there once again and recorded his eighth tackle. Third and a deuce. Ball of the 47 yard Let's go now. Mark back in the shotgun. Passing here on third and short. Picked off. The 20, the 10, 5, and he gets in there. Touchdown. A spectacular interception and return for a touchdown. Number 15 comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. Now, if the quarterback is still rattled after that play, we'll find out on this first throw. The coach will probably go with something simple to get some of his confidence back. But one thing he can't be worried about is throwing that football. I think he'll come out firing to show us all that he's ready to make a play. Nice kick and returnable from the seven yard line. The defense picked off a pass there last time out and returned it for six points. First and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Mark with a man in motion on the ground. Roberts is there on the stop at the 23-yard line. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. you got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the opening. Four-yard gain on the field. Keep the throttle down. Here they come. Rowing. This pass is incomplete. The Brady two was the intended receiver on that play. Third and six. Ball on the 23 yard line. There we go. Play football. Only one man from the back here. Gets the pass off, and he just can't hang it. And he throws incomplete because he had major pressure. The corner came on a blitz, and he sprinted for the quarterback. Guys love the opportunity to get a sack. And that time, he just missed taking him down. They're calling for the punter again, his third kick tonight. From the 36. The ball on their own 40. Mohammed, the lone back. play number 27 is there on the stop at the 50 you can't have a good running attack without water blocking alone won't get you what you need you got to have a back who can find the holes when they're there Ball at about midfield the Broncos come out in a 4-3 Blitz is coming. 
Broken up. He appeared to feel the pressure there. So many passing attacks in the NFL rely on timing. When you can put pressure on the passer, you never give him a chance to get into a rhythm. And you force him to throw the ball before he wants to. Third and inches. Ball on the 50 yard line. The Broncos line up in a 4-3. Toss play to the right. Number 27 is there on the stop, but they allow them to pick up the first. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. It's first and ten. The Broncos come out in a 4 3. Receives the handoff. Clawson is there for the tackle at the 43. We'll have it. Manages a yard or two on the delay play. Ball on the 43 yard line. Ball on the 43 yard line. Watch your eye. Blue there, blue there. Out of the eye formation. Cross play to the left. Rennick is there on the stop at the 39-yard line. We'll have it. Takes the pitch for a gain of three. Let's make it four. Third down play here. They have to get it to the 36. Denver lines up in a 4-3. Looking to run it here with the pass. It's broken up. He needs to do a better job putting the pass on the spot where only his guy can get it. Those tip passes can turn into interceptions pretty easily. Number 14 will come in now to punt it away. Tillman lines up deep for the punt return. signals for the fair catch. This is where you want to respond quickly, or this could turn into a battle for field position. The Thunder come out in a 4-3. This one is handed off. Johnson comes up to make the play at the 25. So that's a gain of about five. Ball on their own 25. Ball on the 25 yard line. The Thunder with a four man front gets the pass off. This pass is incomplete. Lane teed off on him and it forced the ball out before he could make the reception. Yeah, and he's either going to get in there and knock the ball out or he's going to knock someone else out. As they get ready for this third down play, we'll take a look at how they've done today. The Thunder come out in a 4-3. Pumps once with the pass. Number 45 is there for the tackle. They pick up 16 yards on third down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Out of the eye formation. Aimed it off to the back. Is there on the stop at the 46. Pumps runs it through the middle again of about six. Second and four coming up here. The bats are lined up in an eye. Hand it off. Keeps his feet moving. Crane is there for the tackle at the 48. Pollard battles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pick. Third and two. Ball on the 48-yard line. 
Martin starts out of the shotgun. Rowan. The defender's got it. The 30. The 20. The 10. 5. And they're in. Touchdown. He takes that one all the way. Number 15 comes in to attempt the point after. The extra point attempt is good. The coach has to make sure his defense doesn't get too confident after that touchdown. Sometimes after a defensive score, they'll come back out and let the offense go right down the field and take the momentum back. As we take a look at his success returning kicks, we get ready for the kickoff. From the one. Kickoff return 18 yards. The last time the defense was on the field, they scored on an interception return. It's first and ten. will start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and ten. Pollard, the deep back. Martin with a man in motion. With the counter play. Big opening. This one will be spotted at the 28-yard line. He's able to run down another ball carrier for the seventh time. Second and two coming up here. From the gun. Drops back. Rowing. And the catch is made. He makes another catch to put him over 100 yards in receptions today. Ball on their own 35. Ball on the 35 yard line. Slips the tackle. Lane comes up to make the play. A big part of this guy's running style is to use the blockers to set up his cut. But they were nowhere to be found on that run. Second and seven. Ball on the 38 yard line. Let's go now. The Thunder come out on a nickel pack. Let's go. Pump fakes. Fires this one deep. Nearly intercepted. And the defender makes a good play to break up the deep pass. And yeah, he had great coverage, but the ball should have ended up in his hands, not on the turf. So at the end of the third quarter, the score is 24-6. Thunder. Denver needs to play a perfect fourth quarter if they're going to make a game here. Third and seven. Ball on the 38-yard line. Keep the throttle down. Martin starts out of the shotgun. Throws it. Complete to the wide receiver. Number 82. Will stop just short of the first down marker on that catch. Fourth down. Less than a yard. With the pass. Ooh, nearly picked up. And when you're down by this much, you're forced to go for it, but they came up short. In this type of situation, the team needs to try anything they can to get into the end zone. This time, they fell short. The Berlin Thunder will start to drive at the 45 First and 10. Here we go, baby! Mohammed lines up behind his fullback in the eye. 
I'm coming through, baby. play. Lang is there for the tackle at the 46 yard line. Uh -huh. Defense looking for the run and the runner just about got back to the line of scrimmage. There was no possibility of going up the middle and picking up anything. Second and long coming up here. Out of the eye formation. off to the back. Hughes is there on the stop at the 40. Mohammed busted through for a few tough yards. Ball on the 40-yard line. Denver lines up with seven guys in the secondary. It's a blitz. Throwing. Nice adjustment. And he's forced out of bounds at the 32. This is good communication between the quarterback and his receiver to keep the chains moving. They know where the first down marker is, and they recognize the type of coverage the defense is playing. The ball is there, and so is the catch. Sometimes it's hard for the official because there can be a whole bunch of bodies around the ball carrier and he can't get a good enough view to overturn it. So the coach looks a lot smarter after getting the play reversed in his team's favor. Hey, if you can get a call like that changed, then it's worth the risk of losing a timeout. Ball on the 25-yard line. Denver comes out in their nickel package. Well play. Number 52 is there on the stop at the 23-yard line. Mohammed picks up a couple on the delayed handle. It's third down and a yard. The Thunder line up in Tripp's bunch. With the throw, Burns tackles Peterson, and they won't get the first. No, they get the completion on third down, and that puts them a little closer for a field goal attempt. to make a good kick here. Back the field goal attempt is good. That kick gives them a full three touchdown advantage. yard line the Broncos need to rebound quickly as they start this drive at the 27 the Broncos will start the drive at the 27 yard line first and 10 
Nickelback in this time. Going to the left. Crane breaks the play up in the backfield. You talk about a sense of knowing where a play is heading. That's just great instinct. Ball on their own 24. The Thunder come out on a nickel package. Gets the pass off. And it's complete. He's pushed out at the 32-yard line. So that was a pickup of about nine. Ball on their own 32. Ball on the 32-yard line. Pollard, the lone setback with the pass. It's a fumble. The Thunder are there to pick up the ball. Off and run. The 20, the 10. Touchdown, Thunder. The defense makes something happen, causing the fumble and taking it back for six points. Comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. The Thunder have it all working now as they continue to expand their lead. Tell me. He's back for the kickoff as we take a quick glance at his return numbers. Number 15 is back and ready to put this one in the air. Good kick should be returnable. From the seven. And we have an injured player. Looks like he'll make his way to the sideline under his own power. First and ten. We'll start the drive at the 21 yard line. First and ten. It's the delayed handle. Drop in the backfield for a short loss. Nowhere to go that time. The defensive line gets very good penetration. This line's very aggressive up front. They like to stunt and use power moves to get into the backfield. A lot of teams think that the best way to move the ball on the ground against them is to run it right at them. Try and wear them out. Looks like they might be trying to do that same kind of thing. Dropping back, gets rid of it. Roberts is there on the stop at the 47-yard line. This is what they have to do. Keep making completions down the field and move the chain. Watch this one. He knows he's got to get the first, and he picks the right guy to throw it to. So an update now on the injury. It doesn't appear to be anything serious, and his return is probable. Came off on the draw. Bassett is there for the tackle at the 48-yard line. Hall paddles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pick. Ball at about midfield. Ball on the 48-yard line. The Thunder come out of the nickel pack. Pressure with the throw. Incomplete. Lincoln gets to him just as the ball arrives and he knocks it loose. He played that well. You know, it looked like he knew exactly where that route was going. Third and eight. Ball on the 48 yard line. Watch your eyes. Watch the outside. The Thunder come out of a dime package. Throwing. Knocked away. He put the ball exactly where you want to put it. Watch underneath. 
They're in a tough spot here, but they have to go for it. Dropping back. Throws it. And he hits his card. Number 45 is there for the tackle at the 36-yard line. off almost picked off Armstrong is the injured player on the field will be coming out for this next play so we'll find out what the story is eighth play of this drive ball on the 36 yard line Martin from the shotgun baby come on Blitz is on. Going long. Five. Touchdown, Touchdown Broncos. Broncos. They exploited the blitz by going up top and deep. And with every defense, there's always a weakness. You just have to be able to find it and to beat it. They called the right play there, and they come up with a score. Number 16. Comes in to attempt the point after. The extra point attempt is good. The Broncos need a few breaks if they even want to think about the comeback. A few breaks and then some. Might be a little late in the game to think about the comeback now. They don't have time to kick it away and go on defense, so they're going for the onside kick. Here it is from the 44-yard line. They should be able to put this one on ice. First and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. Here we come. Stay at home. Don't make a play. The Broncos line up in a 4-3. They go for the tailback. Hughes is there for the tackle at the 36-yard line. Ball on the 36-yard line. Ball on the 36-yard line. Here we go. Then we're using three linebackers. They give it to the halfback. And it comes up to make the play. This guy always gives maximum effort on every play. It doesn't matter if you're asking him to run between the tackles or outside. He just takes a ball and refuses to be brought down by the tackler. On third down, they have to get it to the 30 for a first. The Broncos with a four-man front. He gets the carry. They'll spot this one at the 26-yard line. He makes his eighth stop on the play. Solid yardage on that run. You know, people say you got to run the ball, you got to control the clock, but the key thing is you have to run the ball successfully. You have to establish a threat that you're going to make the defense respect. So an update now on the injury. It doesn't appear to be anything serious, and his return is probable. A little misdirection. Ooh, what a stiff one. This one will be spotted at the 17-yard line. He found the ball carrier to make his fourth stop of the game. Almost at the two-minute mark now. On the 17-yard line. Let's go! It's on! Let's go! Keep moving! They haven't managed a single trip into the red zone until just now in the fourth quarter. Armstrong returns to the game after being shaken up earlier. They have a big, big lead, and they're on the move again inside the 20. With a counterplay. Fumble. Oh, 
They're inside the 15. Pull back handoff. Number 27 comes up to make the play at the 13 yard line. Gain of two. Down inside the 15. Watch your man. Play hard and fast, baby. Watch this. They'll go from the I formation. A little misdirection. Burns is there for the tackle at the three yard line. Good blocking up front and a nice gain on the counter. Yeah, and that was a perfect call in that situation. He did a nice job avoiding the first wave of defenders, then converting for the first down. It's first and goal at the three. Rick moves in motion. This one is handed off. Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. On first and goal, they can't get into the end zone. Just four yards from the goal line now. Come on! Give me goal! Hand it off to the back. This one will be spotted at the five. That's the fourth stop he's made today. They had that one clogged before the offense even snapped the ball. Third five yards away from the end zone. On the five yard line. Not today. Be careful. See that the pressure rule. Number 92 comes up to make it to play at the four. They tried to get it in on the ground, and the defense says, uh-uh, not this time. He shouldn't have any problems with this attempt. The sails through the uprights. The Thunder pour it on with another score. Number 15 will be kicking off. Not a bad kick, they'll set up for the return. From the six yard line. Kick this is one of those situations yards. where they're playing for respect. The game really hasn't gone the way they thought it would, but they have a lot of pride in their team. And I'd expect to see them keep fighting till that final whistle. Denver Ball on their own 28. The drive at the 28 yard line. First and 10. The Thunder with a four-man front. Fires this one deep. He's got it. The 20, the 10. Touchdown, Broncos. When you get this kind of execution, you got a great chance of making a big play. Watch it here as everyone takes care of their assignment. The pass is thrown where the receiver can make the best play in the ball. And it's six points. So after that nice catch and run, here's a look at his stats. Play hard and fast, baby. Watch your time. Mark you sends a man in motion. Hey, hey. Hey. And with a counter play, they fail to get the two. Looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. Decent kick. We should have a return. From the eight-yard line. All day, baby. Come on. Do 
Deuce it, Deuce it. Need a hammer, not a nail. Hey, let's go. No more from the He'll just take a knee. Fourier Sports, this is Al Michaels and John Madden wishing you a very pleasant good evening.